Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. If I move this mic, is it going to make noise for you? Uh, how? Just like that. No, that's fine. Because I'm, I feel like it's If you're tapping the, the foam, that would make noise. But uh, otherwise, you're fine. Okay. We're recording. Yeah, I mean, how much are you planning on moving that? I, I, you know, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> how to, Move it a little bit. <laughs> It only makes a little bit of noise. You could bring it down a little bit so it's not uh, you know, face. covering your mouth if you don't want. There you go. How's that? That should be fine. Can you turn me up a little bit in my own headphones because I'm a narcissist? It's going to be turning everyone up, I think, uh, then don't it's worry about split, it. It's okay. That's okay. Everyone can. I know what I'm saying. Everyone's ears can bleed. It'd be funny if the entire thing was you and Grant talking about <laughs> <Yeah. where> the- <laughs> And uh, that's time. That's time. <laughs> Excellent. Wait, Casey, so how was the uh, New Cap City place? It was fun? Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, m- the crowd was really, really old last night. So they were like all like kind of, as soon as I walked in, I was like, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I'm not moving on. Do they know yeah. what the show is? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mm-hmm. know if they were there to support people, but there was like a lot of, and I, I went to the show on Sunday and it wasn't like that. So I don't think it's always like that, but. Yeah, I saw him and I was like, I ain't going to like this too much. I Can old people, are old people your demographic at all or not at all? Oh, certainly not. No, almost <laughs> certainly. Zero <laughs> percent. Yeah, they yeah, were super yeah. scared. But it was. <laughs> like, how old are we talking? Like 35. No, I'm just kidding. Like, <laughs> like, uh, like, 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 <laughs> uh, like, uh, 70 years old or like, yeah. like genuinely really? old people. Yeah. Why like, were they at a comedy show? I don't know. Investors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Them they, all had, they all had monocles on <laughs> top hats. You couldn't even see the stage. The top hats. <laughs> I said, when I was on stage, I said, everybody in the cheap seats, you can laugh. Everybody up front, just rattle your fucking jewelry. That's what I said. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Did you really? No. Oh, God. Those badass. <laughs> Uh, uh, so that would have been good. So it's a competition. <laughs> Casey, you told me out there you didn't advance. Don't worry about that, man. I've never advanced. I swear to God, in any fucking advanced. comedy competition, I've never advanced. <laughs> They're all bullshit. But it was really fun. <laughs> yeah, it's really a great never room. advanced. I don't know. I swear to God, I've probably been in four or something. One in Memphis, a couple in Denver. It was always it always bothered me a little. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Casey. Did you? Doesn't matter. Yeah. No, it's fine. I think it'll it be matters. fine. I don't know. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Stop. It hurt. Yeah, it hurt my feelings. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm big. I'm a big boy, dude. I yeah, went home be good. and watched stuff about the mob all night. So I'm fine. Are you done? Yeah. Gambino crime family. <laughs> stuff like that. Genovese crime family. Ooh, rest in peace. <laughs> Aren't a lot of those people dead? A lot of them are. Just yeah. maybe even from old age. Is that a while ago? I don't know. I'm not up to, up to snuff on all that. Do they have boot competitions? Boot competitions? I think it's just called sales data. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait. Hold on. Will, thank you so much for being on the show today. Appreciate it. We man. have Will in the house today. Casey, Hello. y'all have never met. This is Will. We this is not. Casey. Hi, Hello, Casey. Will. Happy boot. <laughs> Happy boot, <laughs> Happy boot today, man. <laughs> Happy to be here with boot. Uh, very cool hold on one thing real quick do you want to well do you want to hear a really good robot voice by chance <laughs> go for it no are you willing to i it's not me it's casey you should oh, hear his robot vo- <sighs> can you talk about boots in a robot voice i think things are gonna be just fine okay <laughs> forget the competition i'm gonna be just fine <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Will. I like your boots so much. Shiny boot for baby. Put a boot on the baby. So cool. So cool. <laughs> Holy shit. So spooky. Do y'all make boots Wait for kids? Wait a second. 
Yeah, hold on. <laughs> it's a, a wonderful second. robot. Boy. There's even like distortion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know Shocking. what I'm saying? Like like, you're like the howl. Like it's like there's a robot voice going through some analog device. I know. <laughs> Nature's <laughs> gift. <laughs> I feel like I'm being punk. Big punk. No. <laughs> yeah. This, <laughs> that was that was genuinely impressive. No Aston Kutcher here, buddy. Just us <laughs> doing robot voice. God, where is that guy? What happened to that guy? Friggin' damn, got sick. Yeah, I think he got real sick. Wait, that's why he hadn't been on TV. He made a bunch of money in startups. <laughs> what? Yeah, he was on Shark Tank, wasn't he? Oh, I didn't know that. Was he? I hated those episodes. I didn't <laughs> watch those episodes. I love Shark Tank. Oh, you though. hated him, but you didn't watch him? Oh, you skipped the Kutcher episodes? Yeah, I skipped oh. it when he talked. Like, I would watch the episode, <laughs> but I skipped it whenever he would give his business advice. He's a dumbass. And after he got sick, I think he made him stupider. That's what I heard. <laughs> his brain overheated. Yeah, his brain got really hot. He had a fever. Poor but, sap. Yeah, what a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm they kidding. Have... I have nothing against <laughs> Ashton Kutcher. I, he's probably really nice. But, Will, uh, you're the owner and purveyor of Chisos Boot Company. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, are y'all selling some boots? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a little shop here in Austin. And we also, you got you can go to the website, you know, plugchisos.com. <laughs> and I'm done. You can go to the website and get some stuff off of the website. Casey, do you ever go on different websites? I've been over. I've been on over a hundred websites. Really? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. a bunch. And there's a bunch of websites out there. There's over six hundred. So I'm getting closer. <laughs> Is that but really how many there are? Probably six or seven hundred. Yeah, I would guess that <laughs> in total. Yeah. In, it's total. Still in all of the it's internet, new. it's new. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger and it's exciting. You can go to like insect.com, blueshirt.org. Org. I love blueshirt.org. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's for a bunch of people wearing blue shirts some of the time. Yeah, that's for like mechanics and security guards. Yep. Blue shirt people. And Grant, what's going on? Why'd you put the spider? Oh, what? insects.com. Did you get that on insect.com? Worldwide web. Come on. Yeah, insect.com oh, and web. it's and it's the web. Is there a Where's that fucking spider? That's just... yeah. Where is that thing? Brutally, Brutally right by honest. your elbow. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm one s- of those people. Like you know, at Halloween comes around, and people put those like eight foot spiders on their houses that are clearly fake. Yeah, and they freak me out. And I like I hate those things. I, I hate this spider right by my elbow. God. <laughs> Did you ever around Christmas time when people would set out the uh, deers, the deers, the deer with the lights? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it deers? <laughs> no. Deer. deer. Mm-hmm. That's a singular and plural of deer. Oh, God. Uh, Whoa. He's cute, though. Close up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, close up. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> so spooky. No, but I remember around Christmas time, people would have their deer, lit up deer out in their front yard, and we would always go and make it look like they were having sex with each other. You're, you're a mature man. <laughs> Would y'all ever do that here in Texas? I've seen it happen before. You have? It's I've always it so happen. funny. <laughs> it's like it's they were organic. doing it doggy style. <laughs> freaky deers, dude. Yeah, freaky shit. There's a website for you, freakydeers.com. That'd be a good one. Website for to do. <laughs> That'd be a great one. Freaky Just pictures deer. of the yeah. deer having sex with each other around Christmas time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like playing poker. Just crazy. It could be anything crazy. Yeah, like the picture of the dogs playing poker. That famous picture. How did that fa- how did that picture get so famous? It's, it's great everywhere. Picture. It's a great picture. It's classic art right there. Yeah, the dogs playing poker. Yeah, it's pretty funny. The bulldog go, I'm all in. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what he's always saying? I'm all in. <laughs> well, do you play a lot of poker? Uh you know, I get roped into games every once in a while. I was playing poker last week actually. Did you win or lose? I won this one. I won this one, and I tried to quit in the middle of it, which I think is why I won, because it just threw everybody off. Yeah. I do cash games. Do you like cash games or tournament style? I don't play too much, sadly. What are you, Casey? <laughs> uh, cash games. Yeah, right? Because yeah. then you can leave when you want. It takes poker take too long. It's too long. The tournaments? All of it. Even one game. <laughs> too long. <laughs> I don't how have long, patience for it. <laughs> yeah, how long were y'all playing when you won last week? Oh, like four or five hours. Yeah, it's too much. That's a long time. Yeah. I top out at two hours. I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get the 
fuck out of here. Yeah. But hey, you know, I guess it paid for itself. How much did you earn? It's classified. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, not very much. Ooh, yeah, I wonder what that means. Not Is it very like much. $25, 100 I think it's like cases, like between 25 there's maybe a hundred dollars total that people bet every year in poker, so I won twenty five of it. That's true. It's close. That's a large percentage. I'm a, this website six hundred one on the internet. Damn. Yeah, six hundred one dot com, <laughs> and it's willonepoker.com. dot <laughs> Picture you with your check. Is that available? Is that available? Let's do that. Will Will one poker. <laughs> Will one. I'll buy it right now. Uh. I have a. Uh, I don't know if I should talk about this. I, I, you, you should know, talk about it. What do you mean? What are you? Well, you just made me think. I'm into like, I like kind of practical <laughs> joke type things. This is a yeah. dumb one. This is a really dumb one. So, um, you know, there's like URLs on websites like .com, .org. There mm -hmm. is one called .store. And yeah. I discovered that a lot of my competitors didn't buy their .store. <laughs> Jokes so on did them. You buy them? <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody did, and they may or may not have put a pile, pile of steaming trash as the only thing that happens when you go to those URLs. <laughs> oh no! Wait, so do people go to dot stores? Is that something that websites just if you have know about some? It. Yeah, if you know about it, or if you like the SEO works, it'll show up in search rankings so what other pranks do you do against the uh, boot competitors <laughs> um <laughs> what well so y'all do <laughs> well the best one is probably i actually and i actually brought these i cut open uh so okay so when i started the whole genesis is that like i messed up my back and so i wanted to make a really comfortable cowboy boot uh -huh. and then i started like learning the process and cutting was it gymnastics open. weren't you into gymnastics or how'd you hurt your back <laughs> a motorcycle accident. Oh, 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 oh. I tried to do gymnastics no. on the motorcycle. And it didn't go very well. Oh, no. Damn. And um, so, but when I started cutting open my competitors' boots when I was learning how they're made, and I started seeing that they're all made of, well, not all of them, but a lot of them are made of crap. Yeah. And so I did a YouTube video where I cut our boots in half and I cut theirs in half. People love those cut in half videos. Yeah, yeah. they're like a thing now, right? <laughs> they like to watch they're things being cut. They're definitely a thing. And like one of our biggest competitors, like their board of directors considered suing us. And I was like, please. I couldn't pay for that press, but they didn't <laughs> like that joke. But it's it's probably like our best video ever. It'd well, be... Come and take it down. <laughs> you need to come and try to take it down. It'd be cool if you sawed your boot in half uh, and it was just a piece of cake. Like, that yeah, that would be funny. Oh, I love those too. That happens a lot in the internet. <laughs> when they cut it, it and it's cake. Yeah. Is this a thing? <laughs> it's unreal. That is a thing, yeah. yeah. Is it Photoshopped or like fake? No, no it's, it's fondant. It's what? Fondant. Fondant. What is that? Is that, a, is that a word for yeah. fancy cake? <laughs> yeah. I hate fancy food. I've I seen just... that. It'll look like an octopus or something, and they'll cut into it, and it's a cake. <laughs> yeah. It's strawberry unreal. cake. Wait, so you're watching videos of people cutting open octopuses? you got to <laughs> find a person and make a boot cake, and then you cut it, and it's a cake. Okay. It's... Can you cut? I mean, look at that. Real cake. Yeah, genuine cake. Oh, it's unreal. <laughs> yeah, it's unreal. Think about that. That'd be funny if y'all did start doing some videos like mm -hmm. that, like totally silly, like the. It's a great idea. Like a cake thing. That'd be funny. Erica, can you cook cake? Can you bake? Yeah, the box kind. They have the directions. Is there a box for a boot Shit, cake? when'd you start cooking cake? I don't know about this. <laughs> We've never made It's so cake. awkward you just asked that question. We literally were talking about that earlier. Holy shit. We don't shit. even have baking dishes. Yeah, we don't even have baking stuff. Why'd you have to bring that up? <laughs> oh, God. Why'd you, you some? bring that up? <laughs> There's some bonding happening here. We're deepening the relationship live. You really can cook a cake. Yeah. <laughs> bake a cake. Cook a cake. Cook a cake. It is yeah. bake. Yeah, it is bake. I think cooking, it's like it's water else. and an egg, and you mix it up. Water and an egg, and then you got a cake. <laughs> yep. Did you, did you, did you, did you know those delicious. baking? <laughs> those baking kits don't actually require an egg. Like it's already all in it. But like housewives in the fifties wanted to feel like they were doing something, so they it added totally it makes to you the feel directions. like you're doing. Yeah, something. they were like, put an egg in there. You're like, you don't need it. It's already got dehydrated eggs in it. Oh, Is don't do true? anything. <laughs> no, it's oh. totally true. It's psychology. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Grant, a, did you know it's that? A scam. Oh no, I had no clue. <laughs> what are you laying down right now? Your back got hurt. Casey, he hurt his I, back earlier. I need, oh, Grant. I need, I need some boots. You need some good, yeah, I need some back, good man. boots for my back. You, you need some it's cake, true. buddy. 
That's what you need and for cake. your birthday cake. <laughs> Can you, you guys need your birthday cake? It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. He threw his back out. Picking up his on the slip and slide. <laughs> birthday present. <laughs> yeah. Doing a little morning slip. <laughs> a little ten a, little ten AM slip and slide. <laughs> Wee! Starting my morning right. It's <laughs> a hell of a life, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he has kids. They like that stuff. Well, you get a couple espressos and Grant, you, you'd be surprised what he'll do on a slip and slide. Honestly. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's weird. Don't act like you don't do weird shit after a couple of espressos on your slip and slide. You're, you have all those scorpion videos of you? <laughs> yeah, scorpions. Do I even want to ask? Is that like the... <laughs> do you mean like the music video? <laughs> no, like you try white, running white and snake? jumping and performing a scorpion where your feet touch the back of your head. It's a lot of, yeah. <laughs> if you look up Grant Slip and Sliding, it's a lot of scorpion videos. I was worried for a second what the description of scorpion was going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's where your feet hit the back of your head. There is a video out there of me uh, dancing. Twerking. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. You guys, you guys talk. Yeah, Casey, he was talking about it earlier. He was twerking, playing. What was the game he was playing? Just Dance. <laughs> Just Dance. Just Dance. Twerking to Beyonce in a rabbit costume. It sounds fake. It's so silly, but I guess it's real. It's we recorded need to find somewhere. Yeah, someone post the link in the comments. You guys do not need to find that video. <laughs> Wait, is, what's this, is this the game with the shapes and you have to dance to make the shapes? Uh, no, you you just you dance. dance to the movies. You know, no, dan that's dance, 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 something. dance revolution. That's a ah, classic. Yeah. I think that's Wipeout, where you you're on a little platform and then a shape comes and you have to form your body to make the shape. Oh, yeah, so don't get wiped out. <laughs> and that's what Grant does when he has three expresso. <laughs> <laughs> he starts doing the Wipeout course. <laughs> he lives in a giant mansion. He has a huge yard. It's like it's Fantasy beautiful. Factory. Grant's oh. Fantasy Factory is just a wipeout course. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all used to watch that other show? It was similar to Wipeout on FX, or what was it on? Spike. Spike TV, the Asian people. M oh. MXT, right? MXC yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. That was a funny show. We should do that. Yeah, and they would dub over the Chinese people. Oh, it was it so, was so funny. funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. Love it. Do you remember MXC? <laughs> did you ever watch MXC? I did. I think we should bring that back and we should make it a boot obstacle course. Oh, the more boot, the better. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like things are in the shape of boots? <laughs> and... You have to wear your boots. So we, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We thought about this. Like, I've seen, like, you go to, like, those, like, fancy car shows and they're like, look at our SUV on this, like, fake rock. And I thought about making, yeah. like, a, an obstacle course for the boots. <laughs> like, you buy them and it's like, to get out of the store, you have to go through the obstacle course. What would be a thing in the obstacle <laughs> like course? Like snakes. Ooh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Scorpions. <laughs> Scorpion. Y'all <laughs> yeah. just have a, a room in your place. With a slip a and slide. Of... <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. You really need to think about, though, I think, the cutting into the boot, and it's a cake. Okay. Yeah, Wait, did you it. bring one of the I... your competitors? Uh... Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you know, I brought, oh, before we, before yes. we do that, I brought your boots back. Is that you it? Did? The you cut got one? the rubber bottom on them. <laughs> Is that one for Casey? Yeah, all yeah, of yeah, 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 right. <laughs> he only brought one, so he cut it in cool. half. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. These are yours. Whoa. Whoa. Sweet, you got the rubber bottom the on red the stripe. bottom. Oh, and there's great. also there's a company out there's there called them. There's a company <laughs> out there called Alvies. Who stole the idea of putting a stripe on the heel? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. It's a different color. <laughs> it's a different color. It looks this like one's red. Yeah. It's all about execution, man. It's all about, it's all execution. about execution. Look at you those put that rubber dudes. on the bottom so he doesn't slip. Yeah, we got him some rubber there. Can y'all see that? <laughs> but now I can't dance. Texas no, you can heel. actually. Oh my gosh, how cute. You can da dance better. You dance even better. Yeah. Have you guys been With out to Big Bend? In Who's West Big Texas? Ben? The National Park. Show the heel oh, again. No, no. Big oh. Big Bend. Boom. That's what freaking Grant does when he's on the slip. <laughs> 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 the big bend. Yeah, big bend. That's a big old bend. <laughs> Look, this is my, I should be a fan of white. I Beautiful. Love them. Well, th yeah, thank you for getting the. Uh, you know, okay, so I saw you at 
uh, do a set the other week, and it was one great job, by the way. Good job. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Uh, you talked about the guns that you were buying in your trunk. Yes. Remember this? And I made up guns. And I asked you familiar. what they were. Yeah, and you made them up. You lied to me. I did. I apologize. And so I that. got you some guns. <laughs> cool. Well, I need some. I'm, my heart is <laughs> racing. I thought oh, this okay, would be okay. appropriate <laughs> for you. Aw. Oh, my gosh. Here you go. Do you know how to operate this? It's very dangerous. Be careful. Is that a fucking joke? Do I know how to operate this? I know what this fucking is. Whoa, gun Whoa. safety, bro. Gun Ooh, safety. Yeah, I won't unload it in the studio. <laughs> Grant's gonna... All right, so I thought that was appropriate for you. I got you another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you. Oh, this one actually... Just... <laughs> Careful with this one. You can actually does it shoot. shoot? Yeah. It does. What does it shoot? Here. Here. Let me see this. Whoa. <laughs> Don't put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot him in the leg, though. You can shoot, shoot the boots. Shoot, shoot the, the boots. boots. Shoot the boot. Whoa! <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put that in my head. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet to give me Here's those guns. Here's one more. It's a red cheese as bullet. Ooh, perfect. Whoa. Thank you so much. That's a cool gun. Where do you get stuff like that? Online? <laughs> You yeah. have sources. Very cool. Have this sources. Time. People just give you stuff. When you own a yeah, what computer. website is that from? <laughs> hmm? What website is that from? Uh, realfakeguns.com. Realboots.com. <laughs> website 602. Dot store. Oh, yeah. Dot store. Dot store backslash. Dot store. Yeah. Must love boots. Dot it's store. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that came out of today, just the cake thing. I think that's We're a fun idea. It. We're going to do it. If you're listening and you know how to make boot cakes, give me a shout. We're gonna, we'll do it. We'll definitely do it. <laughs> Need to do boot cakes? Because, yeah, I mean, we already, now we know your competitors, it's made, it's basically made out of cake. <laughs> yeah. It's not made. I mean, look at that. Look at, this is little more than a piece of cake. To the average consumer. Oh, to <laughs> yeah, to the average consumer, but they, yeah, they have no idea. The competitors, it's basically, mm -mm. Mm -mm. yeah. Mm -mm. Here, you can see the difference here, Casey. So, not to make this an infomercial, but just for you to look at this, you can see here, okay, so you see this piece right here? Yeah. The little thin pink line? That's their leather insole. There's ours. That whole chunk. Oh, this the is whole yours. Chunk. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is this is <laughs> that's Jesus. this is much more than a piece of cake. This is a boot you can wear. And help. Yeah, your back. Casey. I was horrified when you were saying the cake. Oh my gosh. No, this is <laughs> this is not cake. This is boot, and it's affordable for how much it helps you, this and it's boot. great. This is boot. This and is cake. Now this. But that on the other hand. Stinky hair. plastic nasty cake. Nasty cake. Mm -mm. Gross. cake. Stinky. Been outside for a couple days. Why is it days. bending Cake like either. that? Yeah, right. Great point. Good There's question. Like those whales at SeaWorld. <laughs> Their fins does that. Their fins. Yeah, that's not get, good. <laughs> get scoliosis. It's sad. It's a sad yeah. boot. It's this boot got captivity. scoliosis, bro. Yup. <laughs> Damn scoliosis boot. Disgusting. It smells like shit. Wouldn't even want it in my house. So yeah, you'd have to take that off. Uh, before you entered your house. Well, people that enter your place, do you make them take their shoes off or not? Uh, at the store? Just to, where HBO. you live. Yeah, you got to take off your boots when you come in my house. What if you have tennis shoes on? You got to take those off too. No. -uh. You know, it's always been. <laughs> oh, yeah. You take yours off? Oh, yeah. Every time. Every time. Every time. You I take yours off, Casey? My boots? Yeah, my, when you go home. My boots stay in the in the trunk. Okay, Damn, fair yeah. enough. What do you wear from the trunk to the from the car to the house? Barefoot. <laughs> All right. Do you take your barefoot off when you go inside? Just strength training. Well, <laughs> strength training. Yeah, well, I put on my little slippers when I get inside. See, there you go. So I can have a cup of coffee before bed. Yeah, that's <laughs> sweet. That's how most people should do it. Yeah, people need to start doing shit like that more. We need to get back to our roots. <laughs> we have to just walking around barefoot. Having a cup of coffee before bed. Cup of coffee before bed. A lot of people think that wakes, thinks that wakes you up. Thinks that what am I talking thinks about? Thinks that wakes I... you up. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a frozen <laughs> croissant in that picture? That's a terrible looking croissant. How does it smell, Casey? You're right there. <laughs> You're right. What does it smell like? <laughs> it smells like the streets of Paris. It smells so good. Ooh. Like a, that's a Paris croissant. It's actually not frozen. It's fresh. 
Oh, it looks so Look good. Look at the steam. Yeah, that's like from Paris. It's probably from, from Paris. <laughs> have you ever been to Paris? <laughs> I've been to the airport. Oh, you have? Yeah, they had great croissants. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did they really? Uh, probably. Damn. <clears throat> probably. So good. I love eat. croissants. Sometimes. I had the food in like the was it the Frankfurt airport? All the airports in Germany. Great food. You're, yeah. You know, just what they have. Very there. efficient. I don't know, like random things like Thai, and you're like, this is good. What is it doing here in Germany? What were you doing in Germany? Uh, was just in the airport. I was on, yeah, I was just going through the airport on my way to Paris. I thought you were only in the airport in Paris <laughs> as he well. Only goes to airport. <laughs> yeah, to airports. See, yeah, I was doing business That'd travel. Be funny. Airports only. Airports only. I actually was going to Toulouse to go uh, sell software to Airbus, who makes airplanes that go to Paris. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually uh, coming full circle. Yeah, that part's true. Really? Yeah, Toulouse. Yep, Toulouse, France. I'm sorry to think you've never been in an airport in your entire life. You're trying to be <laughs> <laughs> You're damn bragging about too many airport. <laughs> it's not adding up. I'm just kidding. I know you've been there. <laughs> <laughs> we were there actually. We were there having Thai food. <laughs> I know. I mean, that Thai food was so good. Yum yum yum. Yeah, you didn't even really see us most of the time, but we were there. We no. were telling you we were going to follow you there, and we did. And <laughs> you were eating all those croissants. God. Couldn't stop. We couldn't get out of the airport. Mm -mm. By the time we were done eating all those croissants, it could fit through the dang door. Yeah, get me back on a plane. <laughs> get me back to America after eating all that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's nothing better than Chisos brand. My God, I don't know if you I've ever felt a harder bottom of a boot before. I've never experienced a harder bottom of a boot. The fucking bottoms of them are like fucking petrified wood. Go to Jesus.com! Isn't that what you told me to say, Well, Casey, what language are you going to learn? Using Babel? Using Babel. Using Babel, I plan to learn... Uh, French. Nice. French. They have, like, Italian and French. Maybe you, whenever we go to Paris, you can use the French one. Babel, you can learn a language in 10 minutes, a day, three months. Whoa. Give it three months, 10 <clears throat> minutes a day. You're learning a new language. You're talking not with robots, but with people, with language experts, not robots. That's less than the amount of time it takes to make a birthday cake every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can learn French or Spanish and less time it takes to make a cake in three months. I mean, that's a long time making a cake. Three months. Learn another language. Don't make a cake that whole time. By the end of the three months, the cake will have gone bad. Mm -hmm. Yup, but your language skills won't because they stay in your brain. But you gotta keep you gotta keep it going. You gotta, and then you can start dreaming in another language. Once you really get the language, you can start dreaming in the other language. <laughs> but you have to stick with it. Yeah, I can't give up. Can't give up. Don't give up Don't. on learning a language. Okay, it's the best thing that I've ever done is learning Spanish. Now I dream in Spanish. But yeah, go to uh, uh, babble.com slash WMS. Save up to 60% off your subscription. Yeah, 60% off your subscription. Babble.com. Slash WMS. Slash WMS. Huge deal. It's a big deal. It's a very big deal. I don't think I we're really letting you people know how big of a deal this is. All right. Save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babble.com slash WMS. <laughs> What's that, Grant? Thai food? What are you What are you doing? Yeah, I think it's Thai food. Mm. 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 At least it came up when I typed Thai food. You sure? Broccoli. broccoli. I don't know. Yeah, was, How often do you yeah. see like broccoli, broccoli like that? <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. I don't know about this. It looks kind of good, though. <laughs> Lime broccoli. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that. And orange sauce. Orange sauce. Mm. Mm. So good this time of year. I love the orange sauce this time What's of year. What's your favorite Thai food? Oh, man. Tom Kakai soup. What is that? The spicy chicken coconut soup. Is that the green curry? I don't know. They don't do it right here. Well, what color is it? It's 
white with yeah. Uh, what color are they? It's like white, but it also it it gets <laughs> no orangey from because it's like spicy. You know the soupy we like. Yeah, the soupy we like. Yeah, and how could I forget the soupy we like? Emilium likes the pad C. Oh, that the thing. pad C U. Yeah. Oh, the, I don't like that one. That's the one I don't like. With the fat noodles. Yeah, that one's weird. It's tastes good. Like vomit. It's vomit. Just, it's very weird. Yeah, it's something I eat it like like I love Thai food. And we love crab raccoons. What? Crab raccoons. Is this like something from Louisiana? The appetizer. Like turtle soup? Crab, crab raccoons. Oh, okay, that makes oh. much more sense. Pranked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crab <laughs> raccoons. Have you ever been down in like New Orleans, southern Louisiana? Actually, northern Louisiana would be crazier. You can go to like a restaurant and eat like 19 different animals. It's delicious. Really? Mm-hmm. Crab. They have ones where they have, they'll have like a bingo card with all the different animals because all the things that you'll eat. Oh, dog. Gator. Cat. No. No, no they're pretty close. <laughs> like squirrel, raccoon, gator, of course, turtle. Turtle's delicious. I never thought I would like turtles really good. Does it taste like a fish? Ooh, no. Good question. Thank you. It doesn't taste like a fish. It's, I'm trying he to wrote that it. one down. <laughs> uh, yeah. Add that one inside my hand. <laughs> gator tastes pretty, kind of like a fishy. Wait, so do you, do you make... Can pe- are people allowed to make boots out of turtles anymore? No. Why is that? Why do people... Well, would... they made them out of the big sea turtles. Those are endangered now. Too many of them are dying? <clears throat> I guess. Turtle skin boot. Yeah, but you can still buy ones that were already made previously. It's not illegal. Only in California. Actually, I don't know if it's you're even allowed to buy them now. You just have to already have to have them. They want to take our turtle boots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's bullshit. Come and take it. Yeah, come and come try. And take it. it. Yeah, come exactly. Try. What other kind of boots are you not allowed to do? Are there <laughs> other ones? Um, William found elephant ones on eBay. So you can do elephant if the elephant died of natural causes, which is did it say hard to fact check? Did it say in the <laughs> yeah. listing? Well, there's there's I mean it is, but the Swiss the Swiss have this organization where they manage all the exotic animal trade around the world. And uh, there's a lot of documentation, um, but you can definitely fake it. Don't elephants? That would be a bad job waiting for the elephants to die to make. <laughs> don't elephants live a long time? <laughs> you have to wait like 80 years. How long does an elephant live? You don't wait for the. You don't watch the baby. You just wait for the old ones. Come on. Oh, I thought you raise them up from kids and <laughs> in like a circus tent. Don't elephants <laughs> live in circus tents? That's where they're raised. Born and bred, circus tent. Circus <laughs> elephant boot. Circus <laughs> elephant boot. <laughs> circus <laughs> elephant boot. <laughs> Nothing in this world like a circus elephant boot. <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, but yeah, I was thinking, I love elephants. You couldn't. It's like I then you couldn't. I couldn't have an elephant boot. He thought it was really cool, but it also made him really sad. But it's now, already made. Find a second hand. You're not driving demand. There you go. That's my thought. I'm going to uh-huh. get canceled after saying Wait, that. Wait, what would you say? You're buying second hand, so you're not driving demand for the production of that item. But still just having it. Isn't that a problem? It's up to you, man. Between I know. I'm God. kidding. I don't, you I don't really <laughs> think so. I was, yeah. Between me and God. It's all right. I'm used to <laughs> like they. Uh, so like, we run. Sometimes we run ads on Facebook. And things like that, we get our account disabled like once a month because somebody at Facebook doesn't like leather goods, and oh, so they'll wow. say that like we're glorifying animal violence, oh, really? which, which is ironic because like if, like we don't use calfskin, we don't use any juvenile leathers. We're the only boot company I know of that stands by that. So we're actually oh. one of the nicer ones. Wait, so what does that mean? It's just more sad killing a kid when. Yeah, well, partially, but like it's so if you if you're it kind of goes back to driving demand. So most high end leather goods are made from calves. So mm-hmm. and it's a really brutal process. I mean, like sometimes bef- they kill them before they're born, and so they want this like smooth, perfect, unblemished hide to make something out of. Mm-hmm. And so one, it's brutal, and that I can see is Casey's got some jokes bouncing around his head. I can no, just it's just sad it. thinking about it. <laughs> So they take it uh, out of like joke. the so, third so we, trimester. So, they're taking it out. So we don't do that. 
And so we don't want to drive. And, and the other thing is you can only make like one pair of boots. Think about it. Size, for a baby. Right? Yeah. yeah. So we. <laughs> one pair of boot for a baby. So we work with a, a dairy farm. And so these are cows that have lived their whole lives. They're adult grown cows. They, re they retire permanently. And we show up and we say, hey, now, you know, we'll, it's kind of like the elephant thing. We'll take that hide. And then we go and we turn it into, you know, five pairs of boots instead of just one. And they're all like really unique, right? The texture, they've got, you know, scars. It's, the, it's to me, it's really cool. These yeah, ones yeah. Unique. But, but traditionally, the industry, people don't want that. They want it to be uniform. They want it to look like a zebra. What? Huh? <laughs> Are there zebra? <laughs> Are there zebra boots? <laughs> I think once you, well, once you, probably once you tan it, you're going to lose that pattern that you're looking for. Oh, not, not if you tan it the good, the good way. <laughs> <laughs> then you could keep it. Then you keep it. There's kangaroo like boots. Damn. Damn. <laughs> kangaroo in Australia. <laughs> pocket watch. Pocket That's what they all say. Right? <laughs> yeah. Pocket watch. Pocket watch. Australia. So cool. Well, what's your best? Can you do an Australian accent? Oh, probably not. Say pocket watch. Pocket watch. Cool. Yeah, that seemed good. <laughs> On the barbie. Good. I don't know what they say. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> dingo ate my baby. Yes. I wonder if they have dingo boots. They, they probably not. should. Do they have bear boots? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm sure someone has a pair somewhere. It's just frowned upon. Bears are dangerous, though, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that doesn't get. That probably doesn't make sense on why they. Were, I thought they were super dangerous. They are. I saw a bear at Big Bend a month ago, a black bear. Really? Yeah, in the mountains. Did you say, shoo, shoo bear, <laughs> shoo, shoo bear, yeah, shoo bear. Actually, <laughs> shoo bear. what is happening on the screen right now? That's adorable. That's is, a bear boot. That's a bear boot. It's a one legitimate one uh, skinned bear boot. <laughs> one one of the last copies available. <laughs> the, they left the face on Yeah, it. they got the face on the front of the boot <laughs> somehow. <laughs> it's brutal. Yeah. So macabre. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what what his name was. Yogi. Oh. <laughs> that's like the most famous bear. Yeah, but that's not the one. Mm -hmm. I know. That's probably not Yogi. It's probably like Tim. Tim. <laughs> it's probably Tim. Yeah, it could be Tim. He could be always... Tim. <laughs> could be Tim. Is that Tim Grant? Yes. That's Tim. <laughs> Damn. That's a good guess. Wait, so what? Gift. Wait, so how come when you go over to your place you have to take your shoes off? Because you have to keep it clean? Dirt, man. Yeah, exactly. Keep it clean. Okay. Keep Smart man. man. Smart man. That would always happen when I would go over to my black friend's houses. You'd always I'd always have to take my <laughs> shoes off. Culture, man. Get some culture. I know. It is probably... I know. I think about it. I step on all kinds of nasty stuff all the right, time. Maybe exactly. I don't need it in my place, but I've never thought about it. We have it. We got this... He likes to wear his boot. He'll be in boxers and just wear his boots around the house. Okay. Well, we don't need to know about your only fans. It account. actually made you... Made <laughs> and you'll you... sit and play video games in his boxers and boots. <laughs> Call of this Duty. This is true. Yeah. It makes you better mm -hmm. at Call of Duty. You wear them just around the house? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That makes me feel so good. I'm yeah. glad you like them that much. Super comfortable. We got to get Casey up here somehow. I'd love to. Do have you have right any there. boots? You can have that I one. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Com yeah. Combine them into one boot. <laughs> yeah. Half the boot is dog shit. Half the boot is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think we know which is which. <laughs> okay. Very good. Do you yeah, own any? Thanks, man. Do you own any boots? I have a one winter boots. I have a winter boot, but it's not traditional cowboy boot. I'd love to have one sometime. My mom's a horse trainer. As you oh, know. my gosh. Quarter horses. She lives in southern Illinois. Wait, she trains horse quarter horse. horses? Yeah. Oh, does fantastic. she wear boots doing that? That's she, a boot job. Yeah, she got a cowboy boot on. She wear... Cowboy hat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to Hello, adjust boys. it. Yeah, oh. Hello, boys. Good evening, boys. <laughs> That's how she talks. That's my mom, you know? <laughs> you know, I tried... I was going to wear my cowboy hat. <laughs> But I did my research, and I saw that you have the guests wear these headphones. Mm -hmm. So we need to invent a cowboy or a headphone that works with cowboy hats. Oof. Get I mean, on it, Grant. That could be the Shark Tank idea. I'm looking for <laughs> Shark Tank ideas. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it can just be these. You can put these you if can it's pitch not above. Ashton Kutcher, man. Your favorite. Well, I don't even think he can 
can communicate with people anymore. I think he's pretty much yeah like a vegetable. He's close a vegetable. to the <laughs> end. Yeah, I think he turned into vegetable status a couple years ago. Sad. Full vegetable status, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, sharks. I'd like to pitch to you today what looked like a normal boot, but in fact, it is piece of cake. <laughs> yeah. Ten thousand dollars for one hundred percent of the boot. <laughs> Whoa, that's a good a good profit margin. I know. <laughs> Grant fixed it. Way to go. Oh, Way cool. Way to go, champ. Way to go. Why is your head so much bigger than mine? <laughs> yeah. What? Hey, Grant, give me one, too. Hey, Grant. <laughs> On it. Thank you. One of my favorite parts of Dumb and Dumber is when he's wearing the big cowboy hat. Oh, yeah. And then also Classic. when he walks out of the 7-Eleven and, and the guy's like, big <laughs> mine, <but> Mine's <laughs> Whoa. Big. Is that good? I can hardly even see anything of this boy on. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, can I you can't see, see anything? anything at all. You're blocking, <laughs> you're blocking my vision. What is, I can't see shit. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck freaking damn living in this cowboy hat. So spooky. <laughs> Whoa. Start a family in a, in a cowboy hat of that size. Mm-hmm. You could. <laughs> you could literally have a family of four. You totally Easily. Could. Well, do you, we were talking about it the other day, but people out there, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Grant, do it down a little, man. It's not totally on Casey's head. <laughs> Come on. I am working my ass off on these. Here. <laughs> Is that pretty good? <laughs> that's great. Works for me. Nailed it. Does it work for you? That'll, that's enough for me. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one. Thank you, Grant. Thanks, Grant. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, now you got a small one, Will. Why are you adjusting? <laughs> Come on, we're trying to do something with these cowboy hats on Grant. Please. Get serious back there, please. I don't give a shit that you're fucking He's back laying on the couch in there. He's not even at his desk. I'm having so having to use a stick moving? to reach over to the the mouse. He put it on he put it on the floor. You put it on the floor? Yeah, how are you getting around back there? Just wheeling about on this chair. Oh I have multiple gosh. chairs lined up. I'm just wheeling on them. Okay, well, that's hard to believe. <laughs> okay, sorry. Big spooky boot. Yeah, that's spooky as shit. I know your competitor's boots can be spooky. Do you ever... <laughs> uh, what, you have co- competitors close by. Do you ever think about doing... I'm kidding, you would never do anything to the actual <laughs> place. It was funny doing the dot store thing to mess with them a little. <laughs> Uh, they, we mess with each other. They, uh, you know, I like, they started it, but the, uh, <laughs> they started it. <laughs> they, started it. <laughs> they, we had launched our boots when we first launched and they changed the release date of some of their big items to be the same day. Ooh. Cause they have $120 million in venture funding and the other guys are owned by Berkshire Hathaway. So billionaires. Um, <sighs> So you don't want to get a boot from somebody like that. No, you don't. You don't. So when we did our launch, we had we had a big launch party and we do an anniversary concert every year. So we printed out these like, you know, movie size posters, like, you know, half the size of this wall. Mm-hmm. And I put them out of in front of their offices so you could see them from inside. <laughs> boys to men. It'd be funny if it was like a boys to men. <laughs> who'd y'all have at the show? Yeah, who'd you get? Oh, uh, uh, Jonathan Terrell. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan played. Taylor Thomas. Yeah, I know. I was, I was thinking <laughs> and hoping you were about to say that. Jonathan, Jonathan Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> One um, night only. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> David Ramirez here in town, Sir Woman. And then lately we've been uh, big fans of uh, uh, Paul Val. You should go see Paul Val. He's, he's up and coming. He's like, a, you know old Austin, right? So he's like, he feels like a Stevie Ray Vaughan from like the 70s. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about the Stevie Ray Vaughan statue? Don't people not like it because he's leaning on his guitar? Statue's great. <laughs> you heard that? What does oh, that mean? God. People, just people were bitching because he's leaning against the guitar. Why? Is that like not Who good cares? etiquette? It's not etiquette Who for cares? a deceased guitar virtuoso. <laughs> no, look. This oh up. my gosh. I can't believe you had him there. He looked just like that too last year. Was he just like reading scripts or was he <laughs> yeah. improvising or? Yeah, what is that what show? Do? He's walking Sister. around in the booth. Did he do Home Improvement or Lion King? He's just walking around in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> is that Jonathan Taylor Thomas? <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> Everybody's like, holy shit. <laughs> he doesn't talk to a single person. <laughs> yeah, he's just walking around. He can't around. talk anymore, actually. That's why we haven't seen him. Oh, he has Ashton Kutcher's disease. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor JT. Cool. Well, keep up. 
the good work with Jesus again. <laughs> is that I, him? Yeah, look at him. Is that? Yeah, that's Jonathan Taylor. Gray, is that Thomas. that guy? That's an ad- That's Stevie Ray's, Ray Vaughan. What? No, it's not. <laughs> that's a Stevie Ray Vaughan statue. No, it's, it's, no, that's Ashton. That's why people that's hated it. That's yeah. what the fucking statue. It looks just like Ashton Wait, Kutcher. Oh, it's like an <laughs> actual Ashton Kutcher. It doesn't look ear- like a statue. It, has it doesn't pods. look like fucking. <laughs> yeah. Where did you hear that people were mad about this statue? Oh, he's on all the forums. I read it. Yeah, I'm on all the forums. I was that's reading a bunch of California fucks. It could be. Yeah. I don't know. I've never even seen the statue. I can't find it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's right down on the trail by Town Lake. I go by it like every day. Yeah. We'll wow, take a picture that's... for him next time. Are what you mean? serious? You haven't seen it? I've never seen it. I don't know. Someone what Town painted Lake the is. eyeball green. I noticed last week. What, what an asshole! <laughs> what a prank! What color were his eyes? Yeah. What a prank! <laughs> what a st- statue color. <laughs> Just, just one, one. eyeball green. Just one. <laughs> got you, dirt bag. Vandalism. Yeah, got you, dirt bag. Is that it? There it is. I, I found the that statue. Not it. That's not Stevie Ray. Right <laughs> oh, yeah. I see the green eye. Yeah. <laughs> What's that soccer player? Ronaldo. Football. Football. They wear boots. Just the wrong kind. Pocket watch. Pocket watch. <laughs> yeah, looks like he's saying pocket watch. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Is that for real? That face they gave him? <laughs> that's the, that's the one they presented to him, and he was like, "The fuck!" But I think they fixed it, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, he got trolled so hard. <laughs> his eyes look real close. Are his eyes that close <laughs> together? Do it. It's like the eyes are weird. <laughs> Everything's with that goofy grin. Oh man, guy, I have a buddy named Ben Jordan who his eyes are real close together. I'm sorry. <laughs> He actually came to visit. I talked to him once last year, and he came to visit. And I pick him up at the airport, and he doesn't have any bags or anything. He just has his charger and his phone. He has his phone charger, and he comes over, and he had gotten the electroshock therapy, and it, like, fried his brain, Love kind of. Us up. No, it's and true. I kept, it and was I ha- scary. I kept telling William, please tell him to brush his teeth. And we had disposable toothbrushes, and William's like, crazy people don't brush their teeth. Come on, don't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it was so scary because that night I locked the door to the bedroom and I had a nightmare that he busted in and murdered me. (laughs) Seriously, it scared me to death. Like a vivid nightmare. I was like, how did he fucking get in the room? I locked it. He busted in and fucking murdered me. Luckily, it was just a dream. Luckily. (laughs) Seriously. Luckily, it was just a dream. Where's he from? Where are you flying from? From Memphis. He's a good old friend. I hope he's doing all right. It was just. Why did he have electroshock therapy? I he had don't a know. Break- a mental breakdown? It, yeah, he had a breakdown. We used to do cocaine all the time together in Memphis. Yeah. And I think that didn't help. And then I think he was on some sort of uh, like lithium or something and then took some acid and then that mm. like really screwed him up. I don't know. That happened a tragic him, tale. Hmm. Hopefully a he's doing tale. all right now. Cautionary tale. Yeah. One time. I'll make this story really quick. I knew this neighbor of my friend in Athens, Georgia. He used to sell us acid, and he was always on acid. And one day, he took a really big hit of acid, and he was like, I'm going to drive to the grocery store. And he got in his car, and he drove away, and he never came back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Disappeared forever? <laughs> Oh, no. We never saw him again. Oh and no! We would see him like every day. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Literally, like for the like the two years my buddy lived there, he just never Nobody. came back. Yeah, and he never he never he didn't die. We checked the newspaper. He just yeah, just kept going. I <laughs> wonder where he's driving. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember his name, so I don't even know what to Google. But if you go on TikTok, they'll find him. That's true. He probably they just can moved. find anyone. Acid guy. $25. Just post one picture. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for my friend, and they'll find him. It'd be funny if it showed him making the Ronaldo sculpture or something. <laughs> he could turn into a sculptor. <laughs> yeah, that's the scary thing about acid and stuff. Did you ever do anything like that? Nope. I'm a straight arrow, man. Cool. That's good. That's good. It can be kind of fun, but yeah, <laughs> oh, it can. Uh-oh, yeah, the eyes are too close. Hold on. Let me see this. Yeah, it's way different. <laughs> Would you want to be made into a statue or a Madame Tussauds? What's the what? Madam Tussauds. Yeah. What is that? The wax. Oh, got wax it. Waxman. Man, this is, you guys are full of knowledge. Yeah, we're big Madam Tussauds fans. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they, sometimes how Sometimes they, they get it so that? good and sometimes it's well, off. Why'd you pick wax over statue? 
Because <laughs> you could make me into a candle. <laughs> candle. He could have. He a loves thick... candles. I, I didn't realize candles. that was a hard hitting question. <laughs> yeah, there'd be a candle wick on the top of my head, and it would slowly melt down, and it'd be like one of the blood candles. We oh. have a candle that it's rainbow. It, it melts rainbow. Oh, cool! It looks white though. That's fun. Looks white but melts rainbow. It's like your Thai food. I see a pattern here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Looks white. <laughs> <laughs> if I had the choice of being a statue or a wax yeah. man, I would be a statue. But once a year, I would come alive in the museum, and I would get to go around with the dinosaurs. And that's all a good that. pick. And oh my god! And the Native American. What would you pick? <sighs> Pretty I cool. love that. Oh my gosh, Thank yeah, you. I love that. I've thought about like it. Like Natural History Museum. <laughs> I've been thinking about it a lot lately, so. Nice. It's like the Indian in the cupboard. Yeah. Except Indian. a wax museum oh, and not a cupboard. <laughs> no, he's a statue. And a statue is there, too. He picks and statue. statue. Bronze. Bronze. Brave. But once a year, you turn a line. Why once a year? Once a year, like when there's a new security guard and needs <laughs> to be freaked out or something. <laughs> God lets me become alive once more, and I get to <laughs> roam the halls of the place I call my prison for the rest of eternity. Yeah, it's like once a year, there's a new security guard. Once a year, it's a quick turnover rate. So, may, but just once. I don't need to do it more than once. Yeah, yeah you'd you're... really scare the shit out of people if it was more than once. Yeah, it's like every night they'd burn that fucking place down. You know, one time they could say, "Was that a dream? What yeah. was that? What, what happened last night? What was on the security footage? Why was he riding big dinosaur skeletons?" <laughs> but it was me, and we all know it. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows it. Everybody knows it's it. the perfect crime. It's an open secret. It's a perfect secret. So cool. Well, what's your biggest secret? <laughs> the boys. <laughs> biggest secret. That's kind of a dumb question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't know if you'd want to tell your biggest secret or something. <laughs> Confessions with William Montgomery. It's a well, side podcast. Well, here... Um, Uh, I brought you some treats today. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Why he is this devilish grin on your face? He always brings a, a treat. Yeah, we bring people treats around here. It's his thing. I must it's have... a dollar horse, Swedish dollar horse, fruit flavored gummy candy. <laughs> it's a Swedish dollar horse. Oh, is this your yum. latest sponsor? He's trying. Look, We're it says trying. GMO, lots of synthetic colors, and added. Uh, fructose corn syrup and extra gluten non-gmo so doesn't that mean if you're allergic to dairy you can do that no this is gmo <laughs> what's gmo dairy you said that last yeah for like five seconds before i said that i was like did i just say that to erica did i say that on here last time because it <laughs> i thought about it <laughs> I never forget a rift. <laughs> <laughs> love it. The steel trap. It's calling you out, and I love it. It's pretty good. I need to every one? time now. Yeah, non-GMO, so you can eat it if you can't have dairy. Let me try one of these guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think there's several different flavors in the, there. I want the gluten plus version. I guess. Yeah, I like gluten. It's weird people say they can't eat gluten. I think it's all mental. Me I'm going to get canceled for that, but I don't care. I think it's all in people's crazy heads. This is good. Yeah, I want a bakery that's you can the cake bakery for boots is gonna be called Gluten Plus. We inject extra gluten in it. Well, yeah, if it's a boot, it, ha- it would have to. Yeah, it needs more gluten. Casey, what are your thoughts? Very good. And if you squeeze the horse, it make it look like he's very wrinkled, very old horse, very old. <laughs> Not appetizing, but pretty funny. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty good. What is that flavor like? An orange? Something like tangerine, something like that. Ooh, tangerine, that's in the orange family. It is totally stuck to my teeth, but that's okay. Happy to have it in there all day. Delicious. Okay, I gotta ask. On the ingredients, they have inverted sugar syrup. Did they just turn it upside down? <laughs> Powdered sugar. What's happening here? Osmosis. <laughs> Osmosis. Powdered sugar. I don't know. You're yeah, supposed hard to, to say. You know, you're the comedian. You're supposed to give a funny answer to that. It was a setup. Well, I didn't. When I figured it out, when Casey answer. called me out about the non-GMO <laughs> thing, I was totally answer. thrown off. I have a But now I just need to say it every time. Oh, 
totally I thought thrown you were off. Professional. Okay. Inver- <laughs> inverted uh, sugar syrup is uh, apparently it's like an optical rotation of the original sh- syrup, and it's sweeter than table syrup. Hold on, did you say optical? Yeah, that can't be right. Optical rotation. This mixture's optical rotation is opposite that of original sugar. The that fuck? Right. I don't know. It's like looking at the like. It's opposite optical. The actual uh, breakdown of the chemicals in okay, it. Okay, Grant. <laughs> nobody asked you about this. I'm on edge already now, and then you're. Blabbering about optical something with sugar. I was I was curious what inverted sugar syrup meant too. Okay, well sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I derailed. It's okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I was kidding. I'm mad. <laughs> no, I'm not. Eric is nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean I hope you make a cake later. Okay. Seriously. They didn't have the Dolly Parton box mix. Last I know, time. we couldn't have cake last time because there wasn't the Dolly Parton brand She makes brand cake mix now, Dolly Parton. Seriously, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Damn. Uh. She's a brandy machine. <laughs> she is a fellow Tennessean. That's right. I think she helped at the Alamo. <laughs> Did she? Maybe. she that old? That's why Tennessee's a I volunteer I think she wrote state. about it. <laughs> Yeah, the volunteer stake because we helped at the Alamo. We actually, hey, you know what? We had a, a customer come in the other day, and his wife manages the volunteers for the reenactments at the Alamo. So next March, we're going to participate in it. You want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. You want to dress up? You should. Let's do it. You Casey, the... you want to dress up? Yeah, I want to be Davy Crockett. Perfect. Ooh, that'd be cool it's with the green skin and Good caps. Choice. Mm. Good choice. Good pick. I can be yeah, Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Up as Dolly yeah. Parton. What kind of reenact? <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> Who wants a cake? Yeah. <laughs> it was at this point during the battle that Dolly Parton walked in with a freshly made birthday cake for David Crockett. <laughs> She's actually why we lost. It, it's yeah. Dolly's fault. Uh, Dolly distracted everybody, and they got run over by five thousand Mexican forces. Uh, that would be funny. All right. Well, Will, thank you so much. If anybody's in the market for boots, check out Chisos. I've loved mine. They've been they've been great. Thank you for putting the rubber on the bottom. That's so sweet. Yeah, of course, man. Got to make sure you're safe. <laughs> I'm just looking at that Dolly Parton thing. That, that's her. what we were looking for. Look at her hair. I want hair like that. Yeah, I want to be Dolly Parton next year for the reenactment. Yeah. Please. We can make that happen. All right, Casey, any last words? <laughs> Happy to have it. <laughs> Happy to have it today. Happy to have it today. Cool. Well, Will, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, thank you, man. It's been fun. And people can find you at what? Uh, Chisos.com and on all the social medias. and Chisos.store. And... Yeah, Chisos.store. And Chisos. Store. Yep, a smart <laughs> to forget that one. <laughs> asshole can't take it from me. You but can yeah. find him on Tacovas.store. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.